शुक्लां भरधरम विष्णु शशिवर्ण चतुर्भुज प्रसन्न वदनम ध्यात सर्विघ्नोपात सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्य वरदे कामिणी विद्यारंभम क्या सिद्धिर्भवत मे सदा गुरब्रह्म गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरसाक्षात्म ब्रह्म तस्म श्रीगुरव नम ओं शाति 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 ओके so i think uh, so is everybody able to hear me yeah yeah okay good so mohini ji your video is uh, you intentionally blocked your video okay so mohini ji are you there okay so so we have to practice the couple of uh, shlokas from pratasmaranam the so last time we studied the <clears throat> so let's go ahead uh, hem so let's see uh, hem hema mohini rukmini swapna alphabetical order dekhuma ji i want to i had to had some urgent work last time so i wasn't there ah okay mm. all But right i can i can repeat after uh, i can repeat last so i can sure sure okay so go ahead uh, hem hema ji go ahead <laughs> so you can say one one shloka and and its meaning Hema ji, are you there? Oh, sorry. Prathar bhajami mana sa vacha samagam yam vacho vibhanti nikila yadanu krahena yam neeti neeti vacha nay nigama vachu tam deva deva majam machu tam ahur agriyam agrim agriyam. so prather uh, bhajami so in the morning in the early morning i pray to you i worship you manasa vachasa agamyam so agamyam the one which is not conceivable i pray to the one which is not conceivable um, by manasa by by my mind and vachasa by my वाक वाचो विभांति निकिला यदनुग्रहेन um so because of the in the one which is not perceivable because of that blessing the words वाचो uh, विभांति you know they um, they come to um, manifest so vibhanti they light up um and um, so nikila you know all you know uh, everything you know everything so um, so everything here is uh, all the words ikila vachah vibhanti because of the yad uh, anugrahena not conceived yam neeti neeti vachanair nigama avochuhu 
Um, so that one which is in inconceivable. So um, uh, which uh, the Veda um, describes it um, by say because it is inconceivable. So whatever conceivable, it says not this, not this, not this. So because of something, you know, everything shines. So whatever you see, they are not the uh, inconceivable. So that's what the Veda says. Tam deva devam uh, ajam achyutam ahuradhyam. So tam, again, uh, by that, um, So that is the, you know, Deva Devam, um, you know, the Lord of all the Lords and which is um, Ajam, Ajam means unborn, Achyutam, which is, you know, which, which doesn't change at all. Um, and um, so, um, Ahuhu, Ahuhu is again, you know, uh, saying, um, you know, it is said, or they say. So, Agriyam, Agriyam means, um, you know, the most important. So, the most important of all the devas, which is unborn and uh, which is, uh, which doesn't change at all. That Brahman, I uh, worship every day, early in the morning. Very good. Very good. <clears throat> Agriyam can also mean, see, Agre means front. So, so th that which existed before everything else. Oh, okay. So, Agre, you know, Agre means go, go front, right? Correct, so, correct. Or the first or uh, something like that. It can mean, therefore, here they say foremost. Hmm. So foremost can be important. Of course, it is important. Good. Good. Okay. So who would like to be next? Mohini ji. You can chant and tell the meaning of the third uh, shloka. We can't hear you. That is the thing. I don't know why. So you're, even though you're unmuted. Uh, so. I don't know what else to do? Okay, now we can hear you. You can hear. Okay. Om Ratar Namami Tamasah Paramarka Varnam. Purnam sanatana padam purushottamakyam Yasmin nidam jagadasheshama sheshamasheshamu ta Rajvam bhujangama eva pratibhasitam vai So, uh, Pratar Namami, I bow down to the one, limitless one, the Purnaha, uh, limitless one who is beyond the uh, ignorance of darkness, who is uh, has the brilliance of the sun, uh, who is the changeless support, who is known as the supreme human being, in whom the entire universe uh, appears like the snake appears on a rope. Okay, okay. Entire universe appears in whose limitless limitless uh, presence, presence or presence. existence. Correct. Good. Nice. Also nicely chanted. Very good. Okay. Um, Rukmini ji. Pratasmarami hridi samspuradatma tat 
सचिस्वप्नजाग्रसुषुप्त अवैति तत्ब्रह्म निष्कम न चूत संग Yeah. So this Early morning, I think since we are all Sanskrit students, we can use the words "smarami," "bajami," "namami" because there is no equivalent in English for "smarami," "bajami," "namami." So I would prefer to use "smarami." Early morning, I smarami <coughs> in the heart. the shining truth of the self atma tatvam that which is ever present satchit sukham parama hamsa parama hamsa gati the supreme goal of sanyasis parama hamsa gati turiyam the fourth one known as the fourth turiyam ियमेंट Or the that Brahman, that Brahma Nishkalam, and which is again undivided, that Brahman I worship, and not that Brahman which is undivided, and Nacha Bhuta Sangha, not the aggregate of Bhutas elements. So to that Brahman. Nice, Marami. Early morning. Oh, very nice. In my book, this uh, it says Jagra, not Jagra. Yeah, it is Jagra. I just uh, yet swapna Jagra. Ah, Jagra. Sushup, Sushupta Avaiti Nityam. In my book, it says Sushuptam Avaiti, not Sushupta Avaiti. Sushuptam. Your Sushup. Hmm? What does it say in your book? Ardha Takara. Huh? Ardha Takara. Sushupta. Okay, Sushupta is fine, but is there a Makara after that? Sushupta. No, oh, there is no. Okay, Sushupta. Sushupta Maveti. That Ma yes, there is a Ma. Sushupta. Oh, okay. so then you can pronounce that Ma. Sushupta Maveti. Maveti Nitya. Hmm. Good. And then Satchit Sukham, I, I didn't hear that. So, which is of the nature of Satchidananda. Satchidananda. Existence, no limitless awareness. Very good. All right. Ah, Sapna Ji. Then. Uh, Does uh, Hem want to chant? Yeah, I can chant one of them. Yeah, go for the second one. प्रातर्भजा मनसा वचसा दम्यम वाचो विभाति निखिलायदनुग्रहेण यम नेति नेति वचनैर्निगमा अवोचु तम देवदेव जमच्युत तम देवदेव अजम पर्कवर्ण पूर्ण सनातन पदम पुषोत्तमाख्यम जगदशेषमशेषमूर्त 
Rajvambhujangama iva pratibhasitam vai. Good, good. So this time I think you got it uh, correct. Very nice. I practiced every day. <laughs> very nice, very nice. So, Bhujangama. So, Bhujangama. The word actually is Bhujangama. It appears as Bhujangama because of a Sandhi rule that Visarga drops. Okay. So, Binaji, would you like to chant the first one again? Or any one of your choice? Yeah, Hari Hyo. And chant the last word. Pratar Namami Tamasaf Paramarka Varnam Purnam Sanatana Padam Purushottamakyam Esminidam Jagadashesham Ashesha Murtau Rajwam Bujangama Eva Pradibhasitam Vai Bujangama in my book it is Eva not Eva Okay, Eva Once again can you repeat that last line? Yeah Rajwam Bujangama Eva Pradibhasitam Vai Bujangama not Bujangama so Raswati, oh. it sounds like Bhujangama, what you said. So Bhujangama Iva. Hmm. Good. Pratibhasitam Vai. Good. Okay. So what we should do is this. We should, uh, so maybe Mohini ji, if you can chant the entire uh, Pratasmaranam. So you had a nice tune and uh, Better than me singing for sure. So <laughs> I can't sing at the no. <laughs> Go ahead, chant it with me. Om Tatas Marami Rudi Sams Puradat Matatvam Satchit Sukham Paramaham Sagatim Puri. Yet Swapna Jagara Sushup. Tama Vaiti Nityam Tadram Hanishkalam Aham Najabhuta Sangaha Ratar Pajami Manasa Vachasama Gamyam Vacho Vibhanti Nikila Yadanukrahina Yam niti niti vacha nihi nigama avochu tam deva devam ajam achutam ahurakhyam ratar namami tamasa paramarka varnam purnam sanatana padam Purushottamakyam Yasmin nidam jagadashesham mashesha murtau Rajvam bhujangama eva pratibhasitam vai Yeah. That's good. <coughs> Okay, so so Pratasmaran. So another shloka, another stotra written by Adi Shankaracharya. Uh, in praise of Sachidananda Atma, also Brahma. <coughs> so this is meant for Nididhyasana. So we chant it and then we think about it and uh, we can chant it in the morning best to chant in the morning because it's called Pratasmarana Stotra so normally I do it after after my bath after taking a shower I will chant it okay good so now today what I wanted to do is to introduce uh, Dakshinamurti Stotra so 
so now we are we are discussing or we are learning some shlokas which are which are revealing the message of vedanta advaita vedanta so pratasmaranam and then dakshinamurti stotram a favorite stotram and an important one also also written by adi shankaracharya <clears throat> so very beautifully he brings out the the advaita tattvam in this uh, stotra ashtakam it's an ashtakam so it has eight eight verses now what was sent to you today is um, is dhyana shloka so it's really the 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 preamble to the dakshinamurti ashtakam it's not the actual ashtakam itself so just like vishnu sahasranam has dhyana shloka long very long dhyana shloka like that here also there are dhyana shlokas shlokas which will enable you to visualize dakshina murti before actually chanting the dakshina murti shloka beautiful is it not so we have to visualize a form and that pratima is there and so uh, when the form is there then you can offer worship the the form it's it's difficult to difficult so once you imagine something then then it works the prayer works very well so dakshinamurti dhyana shloka so the the you know the stapatis who stapati means those who carve out these murtis from uh, uh, in for temples and things like that they are called stapatis and uh, they 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 chant this dhyana shlokas because they have to essentially visualize you know whether it is shiva or vishnu or devi kamakshi lakshmi whoever they have to chant the dhyana shlokas and they because they are carving they are getting lakshmi out of a piece of stone so imagine just imagine what their vision is just imagine for a second you know if we try to imagine dakshinamurti or adi shankara we can and if i ask you to close your eyes and keep imagining then you know sometimes it wavers and then you have to recollect and then sometimes you forget wait a, wait a minute what was there and uh, sometimes the face blocks off so like this it is so dhyana shloka is very important for those who worship and uh, so here dakshinamurti dhyana shloka so there are about five shlokas <clears throat> so the so the first first shloka also so some, sometimes the shloka also brings out the message of vedanta and uh, so let us see here it is so the mauna vyakya let me chant that first mauna vyakya prakatita para brahma tattvam yuvanam varsheshtante va sadrishi ganai ravrutam brahma nishthai acharyendram karakalita chinmu ूपम स्वात्मादन दक्षिणमूर्ति ओके सो बिफोर वी डू दिस डिड ई शो यू पिक्चर ऑफ दक्षिणमूर्ति एवर सो मे बी वेन वी डिस्कस दट श्रुति स्मृति गुरुस्त्र सो ईश्वर गुरुरात्मे वज दैर so why don't we refresh our memory so you can see uh... so can you see my screen now mm-hmm. okay so this is dakshina murti this is a drawing by raja ravi varma and uh... so it's good to visualize this and remember this picture uh i'll explain this shortly 
and then here is a picture of dakshinamurti in a temple so dakshinamurti is there let me try to minimize this okay does this look better mm -hmm. yeah so this is from uh, the ashram in the us so let's go back to the picture because it has a little more detail that's easier to see so here let me maximize this so here overall if you see okay so overall if you see, if you see here is shiva shiva is in a sitting posture and uh, and then there are four rishis who are sitting in front of him and there is uh, there is somebody there is uh, not a baby but a, 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 you know person who is a grown up person but a very dwarf is sitting with a snake and with the dakshinamurti stepping over him and then uh, dakshinamurti has the vedas in his left hand has a chin mudra a, 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 a symbol that denotes uh, the Brahma Tattvam and then a drum in the right hand, a, a mala, in addition to all the malas he is wearing, he is having a mala in his right hand and uh, Agni in his left hand. And then there is the two earrings, both looking different. Very interesting. Nobody wears two earrings that are very different ever. But Dakshinamurti, we portray him like this. I don't know how many people noticed it, but even uh, this is this is indicated because Maya Upadana Karanam and Nimitta Karanam. So some of you in Vedanta class will recognize that. So Ishwara is the cause of this world, but then there are two types of causes. One is the maker, like the pot maker, and the other one is the clay which is the material of the world. So therefore, Nimitta Karanam Upadana Karanam, which is why we also see this Ardhanarishwara. Shiva is also presented as Ardhanarishwara. So one half male, one half female. And then there is the sun, there is the moon, and then there is Ganga, he is looking at us. And then he is sitting under this tree, a banyan tree. Uh, are, uh, are a people tree, same family, and uh, what else? And uh, he looks young, whereas all the rishis are fairly, uh, fairly senior, older, and this is the imagery that is presented. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you this other picture to see if we can identify all those features. At least most of the features. Okay, so let's go from the bottom again. So maybe difficult to see, but here is one Rishi and here is another Rishi. Okay, I hope you can see. And then if you closely look and if you go to the real temple, you will see one more here. And I think uh, the fourth one is also there. And uh, here it may not be visible properly, but somewhere I remember seeing a fourth one in the temple. So those are the four rishis. Then of course the apasmara, this this uh, this person with a snake is very much there and ready to strike is there and Dakshinamurti is stepping over him. Then of course Nandi is there, his vahanam. Okay, let's go up further. So Vedas are there in, in Dakshinamurti's left hand. And uh, on the right hand, Chin Mudra, no doubt. And then can see a mala there also. In addition to the mala that we have placed on him. Then, left hand Agni, right hand Dhamuru is there. In the other picture, I, yeah, other picture we saw Dabru there. We may have seen a, uh, maybe the, 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 the mala was in this hand. So that is fine. Then, of course, he's adorned with, with, uh, with many malas. 
and then you can see clearly here the earrings are different distinct earrings and then scroll up a little here we can see uh, we can see the sun and the moon and we can see ganga devi here and this is supposed to be his hair and uh, which is which is covered with a which is tied with a band with a, with a band and uh, and so the, and there is no tree here and for you know for practical reasons the tree is not there in, a, in this murti so this is dakshina murti so we have seen the significance of dakshina murti a bit earlier so i won't repeat all that <coughs> Yes, Swapna, go ahead. So, is Dakshina Murti facing south? Always facing south? Yeah. So, Daksha, so the story is like this. Brahma Ji started creating this world. And uh, he started the process. And then, first four human beings. So, this Sanat Kumaras, they say. He created and uh, Sanat, uh, uh, Sanaka, Sanandana, Sanat Kumara, Sanat Sujata. So something, these four names. So they all came and then, then he told them, come on, go. Go and live and start your families. And uh, these, to, 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 to the surprise of Brahmaji, they said, no, we are not interested in that kind of a life. We want to know more about life. And Brahmaji was shocked. He said, what is this? I'm the creator and you're telling me you're, 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 you're not following what I'm saying. And these, these, these boys said, you know what? Sorry. What to do? We're not interested in what you, you're asking us to do. And so then he said, okay, go to Shiva. He will tell you all that. So they walked northwards. They, he said, go north. So they walked northwards. And then there they saw, saw Shiva. And so yeah, Shiva was facing south, the direction, southern direction. And Dakshinaha in, in uh, Sanskrit and Hindi also means uh, south. So that Shiva who is facing south is called Dakshinamurti. Because south is also the direction of death or uh, symbolizes the direction of uh, unpleasantness. So even in, in English, we do use these words, you know, how's the business? Business is going south. And uh, <laughs> going south, hey, who said south is not good? So somehow in the language it has come, south and north. Up is growing is always good, north. So that's how it has come to be, I suppose. So north is the direction of life, direction of of permanence, direction of, of blessing, direction of prosperity. South is the opposite of all of that. So therefore, Dakshinamurti is facing south so that we can face him, face the north. And in this case, the prosperity is not just ordinary prosperity of wealth and other things. It is nityatva. It is moksha. It is permanence. And so they went in search of moksha and uh, so that's the story uh, that I had heard. And so therefore, Dakshinamurti, in any temple, you will find, <coughs> if there is Dakshinamurti, you will find him facing south, generally, generally. And <coughs> there is another meaning for the word Dakshinamurti. And uh, that means, this Dakshinaha means a skillful, qualified, expert you know knows somebody who knows something perfectly that person we say has dakshina has that skill has that capacity has that authority and and authority of course to teach about this atma and uh, amurtihi amurtihi 
not murti, amurti. So that truth, which is formless, because it, it is all pervasive, it is purnam and uh, changeless. We saw earlier in Pratasmaranam, changeless, you know, achyutam, agriyam. So all that, and that is amurti. So that, that is another meaning of the word Dakshinamurti. Okay. Okay. So now, Mauna Vyakya. It's a, so let's start. The, what is the main sentence here? Okay. The, the, there is one verb in this sentence. And the verb is Ede. The last word in this sloka, Ede. Dakshinamurtim Ede. Ede is a verb which means Namami, Prarthayami, Aradhayami, Smarami. So all that means I, I worship Ede. Here what does he say? Here they say I praise. I praise. Ede. That is the verb here. So who do I praise? So of course Aham, Aham you can put in brackets because it's first person uh, singular. So aham ide is automatic. So aham ide. Aham kam ide. Who do I worship? Aham dakshinamurtim ide. I worship dakshinamurti. Complete sentence. That is the main sentence in this shloka. Every other word in this shloka must define who dakshinamurti is. What kind of Dakshinamurti? So now you know Dakshinamurti Ide means I know I worship Dakshinamurti who is facing south. You know you can add all these descriptions. Who is faces south? Who is who is who is who has the capacity to teach about this formless Atma? That is the meaning of the word Dakshinamurti. Now further meanings are given. The first adjective. To that is Mauna Vyakya Prakatita Parabrahma Tattvam. That is the first description to Dakshanamurti. Okay. Prakatita Parabrahma Tattvam. He expounded, he taught Prakatkya, Prakatitkya, Kya Kya, Brahma Tattvam. So that truth of Brahma, he taught. Truth of Brahma, he prakatitkya. He, he explained in a very elaborate way. And very elaborate way, if you explain, so much language has to be used, so many words have to be used, so many examples have to be given, so many texts have to be covered, and class after class we need to have. How did he do it? Mauna Vyakya. So Vyakyan Kya. Lekin Maun. Mauni Theve. He was silent, it seems. Kya baat hai ye? This is too much to handle. Already with so many words and so many good teachers we have in front of us and we are having difficulty. And here this Shiva is saying, I am going to keep quiet. What kind of Teaching is this. This seems very strange. And yes, it is strange because this mauna can be interpreted as he taught in silence. That is the, in, in, in the Vedanta class a couple of weeks ago, we were learning. There is a vachyarthaha. Vachyarthaha means there is a literal meaning of this word mauna vyakya. But the implied meaning is what if we ask what is the lakshyartha? What is the meaning of this? What is the symbol? And uh, you know, they say symbol, they draw a heart. You draw, ask the child to draw a heart, immediately it will draw a heart. As though it has seen the heart, you know. And uh, so the heart is really not shaped like that. It may look like that. But uh, so love, they draw it like that, love. So here, mauna here means. This Atma Tattvam cannot be objectified. Cannot be objectified by words. Pratasmaranam, recall. Shabda Vachyam, correct? Agriyam. 
What else did we see? Agriyam. I mean, not agriyam. What is this? Uh, vacha. Agamyam. 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 Manasa vacha agamyam. This mauna means agamyam. No words can reach it. Yato vacho nivartante. Like that, Taitri Upanishad will say. So, Yato vacho nivartante. So, vacha, it seems the words went to reach out Brahma. But then the words came back. Didn't find Brahma, it seems. This is how the Taitri Upanishad says. Yato vacho nivartante. Aprapya manasasa. Manas, with the mind, the words went, it seems. I've got to get a hold of Brahma. And then aprapya. Prapan nehiwa. Did not gain, did not get that Brahma. So, this is the maunam here. This is the maunam vyakya here. Lakshya artha. Hmm. Correct? You can't point to Brahma and say, that is Brahma. This is Brahma. It is there here. It is there. It is there everywhere. Look, look. Like that, you can't say. Is there everywhere? Formless. No form is there. Therefore, you can't point to it. You can't objectify. I cannot objectify myself. Atma cannot be objectified. That is the lakshartaha. That is the implied meaning of the word maunam. Okay? So, that is, I will stop there. Otherwise, it will become a big Vedanta class. <laughs> so, maunam vyakya. Prakatita Parabrahma Tattvam. That Dakshina Murti who taught Parabrahma Tattvam, who expounded elaborately the Parabrahma Tattvam, the truth of Parabrahma, through silence, if you want, you can say that here. What do they say? Here they say, through silence. Okay? You can say that within brackets, you must say the Lakshya the Parabrahma Tattvam, which cannot be objectified. We can add that. Okay, next word. Yuvanam. 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 Yuva. So, young. Yuva is young in general. But here Yuva can mean one who doesn't age. One who doesn't age. That Parabrahma, which does not age. Then the next word, Varshishta Antevasat Rishiganaihi Avrutam. In fact, sorry, the next word is Avrutam. Avrutam. There is a word. Okay. So, Avrutam, surrounded. Who is surrounded? Lakshanamurti, who is surrounded? That's it. Then the immediate question is surrounded by whom? So surrounded by Varshishta Antevasat Rishiganaihi. That is the next word. By this Rishigana, by this group of Rishis, by this group of Rishis who are Varshishta, who are aged, who are aged, who are, you know, old. Age-wise, they are old and nearby, Antevas, nearby, surrounded by aged rishis sitting nearby. Avritam, surrounded by. And not only are they old like that, but they are also Brahmanishtas. Don't be carried away just because they are old. They are Brahmanishtas. So they have understood this Brahma Tattam so well that nothing can shake them from that vision. So one who has a steadfast vision of Brahma, that person is called a Brahma Nishta. So Brahma Nishtaihi means by these Rishis who, who are Brahma Nishtas, surrounded by the Rishis who are Brahma Nishtas, Okay, if you have any, if you want to stop me, feel free to stop me. I'm just moving. Then, next word, next adjective, Acharyendraha, Acharyendram. Aham Acharyendram Ide. Who is the, who is the, who is the foremost of all Acharyas, all teachers, foremost of the teachers? Who better teacher to have than Dakshinamurti? And uh, I am now reminded of this Kattopanishad. 
and where this small boy nachiketa is having a dialogue with yamma and he is uh, the story is long finally i mean he says nachiketa uh, yamma asks for some boons i mean yamma says go ahead ask me some boons and one of the boons he asks is teach me this about this atma about this brahma tattva they say after death the atma survives you teach me about it and uh, yamma is giving yamma is tempting nachiketa by giving him all kinds of offers he is offering take all this wealth and this and that the story is long goes on like this and this boy doesn't get tempted and you know what he says he says i am standing in front of yama and this kind of chance you are the guy who was the master of death and this kind of chance will any human being get and you are going to give me all these horses and cows and this earth bhume he mahadayatanam madol he says all this great wealth you are giving all right when i go back home anyway you won't send me empty handed okay you know you won't send me empty handed will you no that whatever you send me that will be enough for me so i don't need any more than that you are the greatest you know about mrityu about death you talk, talk to me about death you are the greatest that i am reminded of that now acharyendra hmm. so greatest teacher shiva suddenly comes uh, you say ask me something what will we ask oh shiva is there please give me this and that and you know my roof is leaking and please fix my roof you know so we should not get trapped like that <laughs> so acharyendra then next word karakalita chinmudram on uh, that is the next word karakalita chinmudram karakalita chinmudram so the one whose hand or one of the hands has the form of a chinmudra chinmudra a famous mudra in our uh, tradition the many mudras one of the famous one is chinmudra where the four finger and the thumb are touching each other why is that the four finger is a pointing finger pointing finger you so you pointing finger so it stands for the jiva stands for the jiva because this is a pointing finger points to the jiva the thumb the thumb is uh, stands for stability our ability to grasp comes from the thumb and we don't realize it until the thumb goes away some people you know when they work in machinery and all that when they lose the thumb then they, they it becomes very hard to operate these four fingers are not enough you can't even hold a brush toothbrush in the morning without the thumb i tried i practiced this to put on the button without the thumb you cannot put on the button mm-hmm. that's it over finished so amazing it is so this stands for ishvara this stands for jiva so jiveshvara aikyam is indicated by this mudra so that is chin mudra so that that brahma tattvam he is going to teach is this jiveshvara aikyam mm-hmm. correct jiveshvara aikyam so karakalita chin mudram are you hearing this uh, sound uh, from here hmm. the song that is playing no 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 okay so there are uh, some uh, devotional songs are being played here so i can hear it so if it's noisy let me know <clears throat> ananda roopam next word one whose 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 nature who is the form who is an embodiment of ananda because the truth also is talking about brahma tattvam which is an embodiment which is ananda roopam whose nature is ananda 
then swatma ramam swatma ramam so ramaha ramaha means one who revels in it's called ramaha ramate iti ramaha one who enjoys in something is called ramaha and he enjoys in swatma in oneself one who is happy being oneself one who one who is happy being oneself and here they say one who revels in himself swatma ramam one who revels in himself because because atma is purnaha atma is ananda swarupaha therefore swatma ramam then mudita vadanam mudita vadanam so a, a smiling face one who faces a joyful person will of course have a pleasing face a smiling pleasing face mudita vadanam so that kind of dakshina murti that dakshina murti i worship dakshina murtim ide so i worship dakshina murti who expounds the truth of brahma elaborately through silence because that atma is not objectifiable who is yuvanam that brahma tattvam which is ageless who is varshishtanteva sadrishi ganai rishi ganaihi brahma nishtaihi avrutam who is surrounded by these rishis who are sitting close by and who are brahmanishthas who are steadfast in their knowledge of brahma who is acharyendra who is the the greatest of all teachers who is karakalita chinmudram who has in his one hand the form whose one hand is in the form or has taken the form of chinmudra who is ananda rupam who is whose form is who is an embodiment of ananda who is swatma ramam who revels in himself who is mudita vadanam who has a pleasing and or a smiling face full stop <laughs> one long sentence correct so mauna vyakhya prakatita parabrahm tattvam nivanam varshishtante va sadrishi ganai ravrutam brahma nishtaihi ಆಚಾರ್ಯೇಂದ್ರಂ ಕರಕಲಿತ ಚಿನ್ಮುದ್ರಮಾನಂದರೂಪಂ ಸ್ವಾತ್ಮಾರಾಮ ಮುದಿತ ವದನ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಮೀಡೇ ಎನಿಬಡಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಚಾಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಆರ್ ಶಾಲ್ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ವರ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ಸ್ ಡು ದಟ್ ಓಕೆ so so sapna go ahead and mute yourself okay so okay mohini is unmuted so let's uh, repeat after me can you all hear me hmm. yeah okay good so one of you uh, everybody remain unmuted i mean muted so maybe swapna if you can repeat after me okay mauna vyakhya mauna vyakhya mauna vyakhya prakatita 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 para brahma tattvam para brahma tattvam ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತತ್ವ ಯುವಾನ 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 ವರ್ಷಿಷ್ಟ 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 ಅಂತೇವ ಸತ್ ಅಂತೇವ ಸತ್ ಅಂತೇವ ಸತ್ ಅಂತೇವ ಸತ್ ಋಷಿಗಣೈ ಋಷಿಗಣೈ 
ऋषिगणे आवृत 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 ब्रह्म निष्ठ ब्रह्म निष्ठ ब्रह्म निष्ठ वर्षिष्टांते वर्षिष्टांते वसदृशी गणेर गणेर आवृतम् ब्रह्मनिष्ठेहि वेरी गुड आचार्येन्द्रम् 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 करकलितचिन्मुद्रम् करकलितचिन्मुद्रम् करकलित चिन्मुद्रम आनंद रूपम आनंद रूपम आनंद रूपम आचार्येन्द्रम करकलित चिन्मुद्रम आनंद रूपम आचार्येन्द्रम करकलित चिन्मुद्रम आनंद रूपम स्वात्मारामम 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 मुदित वदनम मुदित वदनम मुदित वदनम दक्षिणा मूर्ति मीडे दक्षिणा मूर्ति मीडे दक्षिणा मूर्ति मीडे स्वात्मारामम मुदित वदनम दक्षिणा मूर्ति मीडे स्वात्मारामम मुदित वदनम दक्षिणा मूर्ति मीडे I think the first line we did not chant completely माउन व्याख्या प्रकटित परब्रह्मतत्वम् जुवानम माउन व्याख्या प्रकटित परब्रह्मतत्वम् युवानम् वर्षिष्ठांते वसत्रिशिगणेराव्रतम् ब्रह्मनिष्ठाइहि वर्षिष्ठांते वसत्रिशिगणेराव्रतम् ब्रह्मनिष्ठाइहि आचार्येन्द्रम् करकलितचिन्मुद्रमानंदरूपम् आचार आचार्येन्द्रम् करकलितचिन्मुद्रमानंदरूपम् स्वात्मारामम् मुदितवदनम् दक्षिणामूर्तिमीडे स्वात्मारामम् मुदितवदनम् दक्षिणामूर्तिमीडे very nice okay so who would like to start Mohini go ahead मौन व्याख्या प्रकटित परब्रह्मतत्वम् युवानम् वर्षिष्ठांते वसद्रुषिगणे रावृतम् ब्रह्मनिष्ठाइ हि आचार्येन्द्रम् करकलितचिन्मुद्रमानंदरूपम् स्वात्मारामम् मुदितवदनम् दक्षिणामूर्तिमीडे नाइस हेम गोरे मौन व्याख्या प्रकटित पर ब्रह्म तत्वम् युवानम् वर्षिष्ठांते वसद्रिशि गणे रावृतम् ब्रह्मनिष्ठाइ हि आचार्येन्द्रम् करकलित चिन्न मुद्रमानंद रूपम् स्वात्मारामम् मुदित वदनम् दक्षिणा मूर्तिमीडे नाइस बिना जी माउन व्याख्यान प्रकृतित परब्रह्मतत्वम् युवानम् वर्षिष्ठांते वसद्रि विशिगणाइ 
ಜಾವೃತ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನಿಷ್ಠ ಆಚಾರ್ಯೇಂದ್ರ ಕರಕಲಿತ ಚಿನ್ಮುದ್ರಮಾನಂದೂಪ ಸ್ವಾತ್ಮ ಮುದಿತ ವದನ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿಮೀಡೇ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಐ ನೋಟಿಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯ ಸೊ ಮೌನ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯ ನಮ್ ನ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯ ಮೌನ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯ ಪ್ರಗತಿತ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ಗುಡ್ ಸೊ ರುಕ್ಮಿಣಿ ಜಿ ಉಮಾ ಜಿ ಮೌನ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯ ಪ್ರಕಟಿತ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತತ್ವ ಯುವಾನ ವಶಿಷ್ಠಾಂತೆ ವಸದೃಶಿ ಗಣೈರಾವೃತ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನಿಷ್ಠ ಆಚಾರ್ಯೇಂದ್ರ ಕರಂದೂಪ ಸ್ವಾರಮಂಬುದಿತ ವದನ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಮೀಡೇ You can you repeat the last line the internet connection was not good swatmaramam mudita vadanam dakshina murti mere yeah very good upani ji you are getting you are really ch- chanting really well thank you <laughs> you have been working on it i think very nice mm. okay hema ji go ahead yeah ಮೌನ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯ ಪ್ರಕಟಿತ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತತ್ವೈವಾಣ ವರ್ಷಿಷ್ಠಾಂತೆವ ಸದೃಶಿ ಗಣೈರಾವೃತ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನಿಷ್ಠ ಆಚಾರ್ಯೇಂದ್ರ ಕರಕಲಿತ ಚಿನ್ಮುದ್ರ ಚಿನ್ಮುದ್ರಮಾನಂದೂಪ ಸ್ವಾತ್ಮ ಮುದಿತ ವದನ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಮೀಡೇ ಗುಡ್ ಸ್ವಪ್ನ ಮೌನ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯ ಪ್ರಕಟಿತ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತತ್ವ ಯುವಾನ ವರ್ಷಿಷ್ಠಾಂತೆ ಸದೃಶಿ ಗಣೈರಾವೃತ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮನಿಷ್ಠ ಆಚಾರ್ಯೇಂದ್ರ ಕರಕಲಿತ ಚಿನ್ಮುದ್ರಮಾನಂದೂಪ ಸ್ವಾತ್ಮ ಮುದಿತ ವದನ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತಿ ಮೀಡೇ very nice <clears throat> okay so i have to go now go out uh, it's the veda parayanam going on here so i started at 7 o'clock so i'd like to conclude the class now <clears throat> om swasti prajapya paripalayanta ಮಾರ್ಗೇಣ ಮಹಿಂ ಮಹಿಷ ಗೋ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣೇಭ್ಯ ಶುಭಮಸ್ತು ನಿತ್ಯಂ ಲೋಕ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಸುಖಿನೋ ಕಾಲೇ ವರ್ಷತು ಪರ್ಜನ್ಯ ಪೃಥಿವೀ ಸಸ್ಯಶಾಲಿನಿ ದೇಶೋ ಯಂ ಕ್ಷೋಭರಹಿತ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ ಸಂತು ನಿರ್ಭಯ ಓಂ ಸರ್ವೇ ಭವಂತು ಸುಖಿನ ಸರ್ವೇ ಸಂತು ನಿರಾಮಯ ಸರ್ವೇ ಭದ್ರಿ ಪಶ್ಯಂತ ಮಾ ಕಚಿತ್ ದುಃಖ ಭಾಗ್ ಭವೇತ್ ಅಸತೋ ಮಾ ಸದ್ಗಮಯ ತಮಸೋ ಮಾ ಜ್ಯೋತಿರ್ಗಮಯ ಮೃತ್ಯೋರ್ಮಾ ಅಮೃತಂಗಮಯ ಓಂ ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದ ಪೂರ್ಣಾತ್ ಪೂರ್ಣಮುದಚ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಬಸ್ ಆಡಿಯೋ ಓಕೆ ಟುಡೆ ಓಕೆ ಸಿ ಆಲ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವೀಕ್ ಧನ್ಯವಾದ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ